Mimo TV para boom, para bem, para zoom. Yeah. Mimo TV para boom. Wait, wait, hola, hola, boga. Mimo TV para bem, para boom, para bem. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, click that notification bell. And guys, Mimo TV is where it's at. So don't forget. He. Uh, I don't know. TV para bem, para bem. Arabem. Yeah. Bala zoom zoom zoom. <laughs> Milo TV. Body bim, body bim, body bam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Milo TV. Bara bim, bara boom, bara bim. Yeah. <laughs>
a rapper, a singer, songwriter, record producer, entrepreneur, executive television producer, years active, 1990-2024. He works at discography, filmography, and production. Criminal status. Listen to me well. He has this criminal record. Intercepted, uh, in, um, incarcerated at Metropolitan Detention Center, Brooklyn, with no bond so he has been jailed before he, he has been sort of arrested before but he wasn't jailed and he's never been in jail like um this sort of uh days or weeks no he went to jail but he'll be released either the following day or a couple of days yeah so partners he's uh all right so currently pop daddy is in um a metropolitan detention center in Brooklyn and with no bond he has no bond partners Kimberly Porter 1994 2007 young Miami 2021 2024 and could you believe Pop that he has seven children yes he has seven children with I mean different women yeah that is a man yeah <laughs> so um, so Music career, East Coast, Hip Hop, R&B, Record Labels, Mugtown, Epic, Interscope, Atlantic, Bad Boy, uh, Record Label, Universal, Uptown, Arista, members of the uh, Hitman, formerly of Daddy, uh, Pop Daddy, Dirty Money, website, like a whole lot. All right, so today we are trying our best to take a look at his um, biography and I've said a lot but pretty much let's dive deep into the ocean to know more about P. Diddy. Born in Harlem and raised in Mount Venom, New York, comes with P. Diddy comes with as a talent director at Uptown Records before founding his own record label Bad Boy Records in 1993. He embarked on his recording career following the success of his first signing, the Notorious B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. Notorious B. Go to do that. Na, 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 na. Every day, uh, you know, those days. Whom he served as manager and hype man. Comes Pop Daddy Deep. Debut studio album, No Way Out, 1997. Received critical acclaimed picked atop the Billboard 2000 and received set for platform, uh, platinum certificate from the Recording Industry Association of America. Two singles from the album, Can't Nobody Hold Me Down and I'll Be Missing You. Wow. Can't nobody hold me down and I'll be missing you. So top the US Billboard Hot 100. The later was the first hip hop song to debut atop the chart. His second and third album, Forever, 1999, and the saga continues, 2001, both peak at number two. So, so far, if you should look at his trouble, sorry, at his uh, history or biography, he was trying his best in terms of music, but hey, this guy was arrested. Or he has been arrested and um, pretty much he has sex trafficking racketeering so most of his uh, fellow musicians came out to talk about his lifestyle let's go and listen a little bit about what is going on right now in the state his second bill attempt has been denied and our sources has it that the next bill is going to be on the October 9th if only they will accept. Now, the U.S. government says that poverty is danger to humanity. It's danger to human being or mankind. They will not allow him to come out. Let's go to the states and listen to Later it. Later named as Liza Gardner, claiming Combs and R&B singer Aaron Hall plied her with drinks and forced her to have sex when she was just 16 years old. Combs and his lawyers labeling the suits as nothing more than a money grab, saying the women were simply out for a payday. Nonetheless, cracks begin showing in Combs' entertainment, liquor, and fashion empire. 
Days after the third suit drops, Diddy steps down as chair of his cable network, a direct result of the allegations. Dozens of companies begin distancing themselves from the mogul. The dominoes keep falling. Another lawsuit, another Jane Doe, alleging when she was 17, Combs and two others gave her drugs and alcohol, then took turns raping her. The day the suit is filed, Combs posting a statement on Instagram, broadly denying all of the mounting allegations, saying he, quote, did not do any of the awful things being alleged and vowing to fight to clear his name. A month later, a male accuser, music producer Rodney Jones, comes forward claiming Combs groped and sexually harassed him and alleging Combs forced Jones to have sex with prostitutes. Diddy's attorneys calling the accusations, quote, replete with blatant falsehoods. But it was on March 25th when an incredible scene played out simultaneously coast to coast at Combs LA and Miami homes. Breaking news, federal agents swarmed the homes of one of the biggest names in rap and entertainment. Breaking news, music mogul Diddy's mansions raided by Homeland Security. I never in a million years expected to see that mansion with that level of raid activity. Homeland Security agents in tactical gear and armor. All right, so I think you've heard a bit about like um, what is going on and Paul of Diddy's um, current situation. Pretty much he's been jailed up. He's in the detention center and um, denied bail twice. And um, pretty much we don't know what is going on right now, but they're going to file another bail attempt on the 9th of October. So they could find ways of trying to bring him out but most of his friends musicians even a musician from canada um went all the way on radio to sort of tell people what he went through uh, and um asha raymond came out like most of his friends musicians all have something to say you remember Pop that he has an issue with a lady that he kicked in a hotel? And I was wondering, one thing I was wondering is that, like all these allegations being labeled against Pop Diddy. So how come he was not arrested? Or was he trying his best to pay a bribe to who? Um, to the police? Or what was he doing to get this, this far before he was arrested? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, your guess could be as good as mine. So Pop Diddy says he's not gonna eat. He's not in safe hands. And um, he needed bill. So we will follow the story and bring you up this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Prince Kojita. We are MC Milo, Canada based Ghana journalist and a YouTuber. Subscribe if today is your first time watching my YouTube. Kindly you like my videos comment and then share i'll come to the end of this episode and tomorrow and the next days i'll bring you the next updates stay tuned milo tv bada bim bada boom bada bim yeah for milo tv toronto canada and then my name is frank white sana i am a friend now i'm a question or some kid to be on the union i'm gonna for i will put you more better I was gradually, no, your dominance and a year big. Yes, air dory pan. I was it. Why, uncle, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm come up to a farm with him, Miluti. Yeah, yeah, it's money. Wow, Pesay, who divorce our Pesay with you. Simple divorce our Pesay with you. A bank of my lawyer. Okay, oh, friend, yeah. And then lawyers now, my one lawyer, no, but you know, yes, I'm a man. Who bet you? I have, you know. So if you have a year divorce, now you're simple. So the number is 416-826-3099. Okay. Oh, friend, I'll share with you more. Let me know. All right. I'll call my lawyer and I'll do this guy. Deal with that. All right. Okay, so. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. All right. All right. All right. Good TV Toronto, Canada. Subscribe if today is your first time. Like my videos, comment, and then share. Bada bim, bada boom, bada bim.